I'm going to share the screen here and we'll see. There we go. You see that? Yeah. So, I, so you on the left and that's Steve Lang beside you. Yeah. And then Gary. Moffitt. Gary, Mo Gary Moffitt, Brian Greenway, Brian Greenway. And, and we can't and see Gary all of Mercer. Jerry, Jerry Mercer. So, so I, that's, that's gotta be 77. I'm thinking. That's harder, faster um, period. That's in Germany. We were touring in Germany and they decided to do a, a little photo one afternoon. Uh, I will say the only thing when I look at that one thing I can't help but smile about is to see the shirt that I'm wearing that white thing with the flowers. Yeah, I still have it. Really? I okay. have it. And 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 I, I couldn't even begin to put it on. <laughs> you and me both, brother. <laughs> no, it's not just the fact. I don't know what happened to it. It's not just the fact that I'm so much bigger. It's just I don't know why it's so small. But anyway, I still have that. I still have that. Yeah, that's cool. I you know yeah. I, I got rid of all those clothes from back in the day, and I really wish I had still had them. At the very least, just because it's such a great thing to touch. I think. You yeah, I, I don't have too many of them. I just happen to have that. Anyway, yeah. And next one, here we go. And there's one of your new promo shots. Yeah, that's for my acoustic act that I do. Yeah, and and, and, and it's funny because all the April wine hits that we've talked about, almost like 90% all written on acoustic guitar. Hmm. And even Roller, I like The Rock, Say Hello, all written on acoustic guitar. On, on my 1947 something Southern Jumbo Gibson, I which like is here in the office as a matter of fact. I like to rock must have been a lot of fun to make with the you know the uh, day tripper and satisfaction licks and all that stuff at the end that was that must have been fun to do yeah that was a jam in the studio yeah that was yeah now that I I took this picture because of that national because I knew I figured okay if you've got an old national guitar like that you've got to be a guitar lover and I remember the Goya so I went okay I got to talk guitars with this guy <laughs> yeah I got a, I got a lot of guitars this one here is a, a 40 um five or something like that wow. yeah around there somewhere and uh you know you see where the jack is on the guitar you oh have to yeah screw it on, like a like a mic uh, jack you know Gordon. Yeah, yeah uh and this is an absolutely stunningly beautiful guitar you don't even really get to see the wood in this it's just like unbelievably cool uh and it gets played the last time this was recorded i don't know if you know this but uh i, re I released a blues album in 2018 uh, my first ever, I just decided I'm going to write a blues album. So I, you know, being a song man, first and foremost, I wrote 12 songs and I called blues people in the States and Rick Derringer's on it. Um, I, I chose Rick. He's, we think of him as rock, of course, but he was so, we were doing a lot of work with the Winter Brothers and so forth. And and all the who's who blues guys in Canada. And I did that and I was nominated for blues album of the year. So it did really well internationally. Nice. Well, yeah, I won a number of awards with it. So then it was called Miles Goodwin and Friends of the Blues. And I have a song called Brand New Cardboard Belt. And that's the, all the slide through that whole song, because it plays through the whole song, was played on that guitar. It is gorgeous. Yeah, really nice. What's that cigar box guitar in the back? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. It's a, there's, a, there's a fella uh, that makes those, and I've got two or three of his. And that, one has three, that one has three strings, that one, I believe. Cool. Yeah, because I, I really got, so I released a second blues album called Miles Good and Friends of the Blues too, and it did equally as well. And so now, um, once I get long pants out of the way, then my third installment in the blues is called I Dream in Blue. And that'll be out this uh, this summer. This here, okay. I just brought these up because it shows sort of chronological the hits over on the radio, which I thought was interesting. Right. Uh, don't don't have much to say about that. It's just it's nice to see all the songs that you've uh, been had your hand in over the years. It's incredible. yeah 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 yeah. It's, it can come in the band. Yeah I, yeah yeah. It's uh, it's interesting. Um, yeah, it's cool. And uh, it goes on. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, thanks for joining us. Check out our other vignettes and full episodes from a wide variety of guests for more great content. Please like, share, and subscribe, and become a member at socialenergypresents.com to access premium content and earn valuable energy points just for watching.